Hi everyone. So I'm back to do mixed medium morsels main dish number six. And today I thought I would do a canvas. Um, was thinking about creating a canvas for my art room. And um, the techniques that I'm going to do, you have seen me do before. It's just a repeat of, say, some collaging and stenciling and um, just wanted to play and create this canvas. Now, you can use a canvas or you can do this on uh, an art journal page. Uh, any, You can do this on any kind of substrate. So, I'm choosing to do a canvas today just to show anyone who um, is a little apprehensive about using a, a canvas that it's basically exactly the same as working on a piece of paper. So there's nothing to worry about and uh, we're just going to have fun. I don't really have a big plan. I did take out a few stencils that I may use and a few paint colors and um, I'm just going to play and uh, start out with uh, gluing down some um, basically black and white uh, papers. And most of this came out of my scrap bin. I'm trying to use it up. Uh, I do have a few uh, pieces that are not from the scrap bin. I pulled some um, dictionary pages uh, that had the words happy and happiness and create and creativity, uh, those kind of things that I'm gonna put on, on here now. I don't know if any of that's gonna show up once we get finished with the uh, project. But I thought it would be fun just to have them there. I'll know they're there. And um, so I thought that would be um, a really cool thing to have on there. So I'm going to glue these pieces down um, with just a little uh, Elmer's glue and water. It's a 50-50 mixture. And um, just get these pieces attached to cover the canvas. And I'll be back in just a few minutes. <music>
for a little bit of um, tactile texture, I'm going to use some of this uh, drywall tape. Um, it's a joint tape that you get at the hardware store. And I've already torn, I literally tore this. It's just paper and it has a um, self-adhesive uh, backing you can remove. So I've just torn uh, a few pieces that I'm going to add to this. And I'm also going to use this type of uh, drywall joint tape too. It's uh, like a mesh and uh, it's also sticky, self-adhesive. So I'm just going to cut a few pieces of this too and I'm just going to put these in random spots on the uh, canvas. And I don't know if I said it or not, but this is an 8x10 canvas. So I'm just going to add these here and there. You can bend and, and maneuver this uh, this this one you can and make it all kinds of fun shapes and stuff. I'm just going to use a few little pieces here and there and then I'll put some paint um, over the top of it. Let's see. I'm not sure how many of these pieces I'll use but I just want to add a few. It takes a few minutes to get the backing off of this especially if you've torn it away from the edge but there we go, not too bad. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna put one here. And I keep these little backings too because they are great to use in um, collage. You can just glue that right down. And uh, it's nice and thin, so it's easy to put in a little collage book when you don't want thick items. Okay, let's see. I have that piece there, a couple down here. Maybe I'll do two small pieces here of this round one, or the circly one. I also like to use this as a stencil. You've probably seen me do that. Let's see, I think I'll just put it maybe like this, and wrap it around the edge. Just about the only thing different uh, from when you making a canvas then working on a flat paper is that you just have to remember to do something to your edges and um, It's not too Not too bad. It's a little piece there. That's not sticky. I'm not sure why so I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, Glue stick on it. I've already put my wet glue away I'm just gonna put a little bit of This glue stick there and press it down There we go. Okay. I think I'll put this one right here. And press it down. Okay. Now you've got some texture on there that you can feel, so that's really fun. Okay, put the glue stick away and set these out of the way. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of paint and I'm trying to think about um, what I want to do here. Um, if I want to use a brush or if I want to use my fingers. I think I'll use a brush and I'll water down the paint just a tiny bit and start with this light green, um, kind of a limey green color and see what, see how that goes. I'll use a brush. kind of wetting the brush and you know, watering the paint down just a tiny bit. And let's see. These uh, drywall tapes, they, they paint real well and looks really cool. Just 
adding a little bit of color to the edges here and there and we'll we'll add some more color as we go along. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. Um Also going to use some turquoise. And kind of do the same thing, just kind of wet it down a little with a wet brush. Water it down. Okay. And we'll just put some here and there. There's no, um, there's no real rhyme or reason here. I'm just putting color down. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide. If I want the paint to be a little darker, or if I like, want to stick with the wash. Hmm. All right, I decided I do want to uh, darken up these colors just a little bit. Um, I think I'll be happier with the more vibrant colors. That just looks nicer to me.
Now I'm going to add a little bit of pink. It's a real pretty magenta. I like this color. Love the purple that it makes when it mixes with the teal. It's so pretty. These colors just make me happy. Okay, so I have all the paint on and all on the edges too. And it's dry now and I'm gonna add just a little bit of stamping, not a whole lot because it does have a busy background. So I'm not gonna uh, stamp a whole lot. But I uh, wanted to mention that I'm going to use a DVD underneath the canvas to give it uh, something to push against. Okay, so that's, that's how that's going to work. And that way you have a sturdy surface. But I'm just going to use this little uh, chicken wire uh, stamp that I've used before and uh, just put a few um, marks on my canvas, just like that. I love this stamp, and I think it really adds a lot to um, to projects. It's just a really cool stamp. And I'm gonna put another one right in here. Okay, I'm gonna use up a little bit of what's on here. All right, I think we're good. Now I'm going to also take it and put just a little bit around the edges. It may not be real noticeable, but it's okay. It's going to be there, and that's what's important. Okay. Just gives a little bit more interest. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, if I can find it, I'm going to put a little bit of um, uh, white dots with some bubble wrap. 
I have a little piece of bubble wrap sitting here someplace. If I could just find it. Okay, so I found the bubble wrap, and I'm just going to, um, I've got some white paint scraped out over here on the palette. And I'm just pressing the um, bubble wrap into it, and I'm going to add a few white dots here and there. It's going to really make all these colors pop and show up real nicely. Well, I could keep my hands out of it. That would probably help. <laughs> I'm really liking that. Looks really nice. Okay, now I'm going to get the edges a little bit. I need to put out a little bit more paint here. Yep. same thing like we did with the stamping just a touch here and there So the canvas is dry, and here's how I did the lettering for my um, canvas. I used some regular uh, white gift wrap tissue paper, and um, I stamped the lettering on the flat side, not the shiny side. You know, a lot of times the tissues have a shiny side. I just used the flat side. And um, I stamped out my words using some foam stamps. And these are the ones that I use. Um, they are really thick foam stamps and they're made by uh, Pebbles Ink. And these are old stamps. I don't know if you'd be able to um, find these anywhere anymore. Um, sometimes you can find stuff like this on eBay that's been around for a while, but they're nice little stamps and I attached them to a, an acrylic block using some double-sided tape. That's what this is here. So I just stuck the uh, the stamps on backward, and then I was able to stamp onto the tissue paper uh, the words I wanted to use. Okay, so my uh, canvas is going to say, My Happy Place. Okay, just like this. And I've gone ahead and torn out the words, and I'm going to show you this technique again. I've shown it before. Uh, just use a water brush. You can just use a wet paint brush and uh, basically just um, make sure it's wet here. Basically, you just want to, you know, draw around your whatever you're cutting out of the tissue paper with the wet brush and it will tear out for you much, much easier than if you were just, you know, straight tearing it without wetting it first. So you just uh, carefully, you still need to do this carefully because it is, you know, fragile. Um, you just, I've got some glue on my finger here and it's sticking to my finger. Um, you just want to carefully tear it out, just like that. And uh, a torn out piece of tissue paper is going to glue down a lot nicer and disappear a lot better than a cut out piece. So that's why I'm not cutting it out. I want this to kind of disappear into the canvas so that it looks like the lettering was, you know, stamped directly on the canvas. Okay, so it's going to look like this. 
and uh, there will be a little bit of the white that shows uh, from the tissue paper, but I think that's fine because that will be, um, that will kind of stop some of the color and allow you to be able to read the letters much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, glue these down, and uh, this time I'm gonna use the Collage Podge. Um, you can use Mod Podge or any of the other type of uh, adhesives. You can use any type you want. I just, this has a, a light sheen um, that I like, so I'm gonna use that just because it will make it um, have the surface that I want. And I'm gonna cover the entire canvas with this. position just where I want it. There we go. All right, now we'll put some more out. This covered good. All right, so I have the uh, canvas dried, and um, I wanted to make mention too that if you are drying your canvas with a heat tool and you do have a DVD underneath it, you might want to move it out of the way during that drying process so you don't risk warping your disc. <laughs> okay, so now I've got that back in place, and um, I'm gonna take a uh, just a regular fine, ultra fine Sharpie, and I'm gonna go around this uh, white edge, around the words, just to make the words stand out a little more. This is a, this is a non, um, uh, exact, non-exact uh, line around this. Um, in fact, I can barely see some of it, so I'm just. Uh, drawing, this is tricky drawing uh, over the top of that mesh. <laughs> um, and I'm just wanting to make that stand out just a little bit more. It just kind of gives the word a, uh, 
I don't know, it just makes it pop a little bit more. I'm going to hold it up and show you in just a second how that looks. I'm making a jagged line, just like the, the tissue paper is a jagged line going around um, each letter. don't exactly like where that line went just then. Let's see if I can take a little of that off with a little bit of hand sanitizer. Works good for a permanent marker, by the way. Just kind of missed the line uh, there where the tissue went. I'm going to bring it back out a little bit. So I'm going to hold this up so you can see. Um, I really love how you can see all of the original uh, marks underneath from the collage elements, the music. There's a grid pattern there. It's a little bit of florals in there and uh, over here. And it just adds to the layers and makes it look so dimensional. I really love that. Here's some more music down here. And those little dots that were on the tissue paper that I put down originally look cool. Here's another tissue paper that had the little gray dots on it. I just love how that um, how that looks. It just is so amazing. The dictionary text is showing, and <laughs> my words are actually showing pretty well. Here's uh, happy happiness is a little bit obliterated, but happy is here, right here, <laughs> and. Um, Creativity was saved right here. So that's kind of cool. So that's, I, I mean, I, once I put that stuff down, I wasn't even looking at that. Oh, and look, creative's up here too. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Once I put those down, and then I just forgot about the words, and I was just, you know, putting down all the rest of the, uh, the elements, so I wasn't sure what was going to show up in the end. But that's awesome. Okay, cool. All right, the next element is um, pretty much the last. Um, I took this little bird stamp from the Dina Wakely Media uh, Scribbly Birds set. It's this bird here. And um, I stamped it on a piece of painted paper. And um, I thought yellow would be a nice color to bring in, another bright color to bring into this um, canvas. And I went ahead and started cutting it out, but I didn't quite finish. So let me let me finish that. And um, I'm just loosely trimming it, um, leaving a you know a little bit of the edge on the yellow edge. Okay. All right. And I'm going to take this little bird and I'm going to let him stand. <clears throat> excuse me. Right on that A right there. Uh, I enjoy birds a lot and sitting right here in my art room I enjoy the birds outside in the woods behind my house. I thoroughly enjoy them. So um, this is an added bit of happy that I experience in my art room. So <laughs> I felt like it belonged there. 
Um, before I attach it, I'm going to do a little bit of coloring, um, just a little tiny bit. I'm using uh, Faber-Castell uh, pit pens to um, color in just a little bit of color on the beak, uh, just tiniest bit. I mean, it's not not a lot, and tiny little bit on the on the legs and the feet area, just to give it a little bit more. Uh, dimension and realism. All right, and then I'm going to take some white paint and I'm just going to put the, a tiny little bit on my finger and I'm just going to color in his tummy just a little bit with white to lighten it up a little bit. Whoops. Let's see if we get a little bit more. Now he has a little bit of a white tummy. Dry that up. Whoops. Come back, baby. I think I'll put a tiny bit of white on his head, too, if I can do it with my finger here. Okay, that's cute. And I'm going to use my Posca pen, the white uh, extra fine point Posca pen. Just put a little dot in his eye where it's yellow there. I want to make that white there. So he's going to sit here on the letter A. Like that. And I think, I don't know if I like the white on his belly there. I might need to add a little bit of a lighter yellow, too, along with it. Let's see. Let's use this one. I'll use a brush this time just to see if I can get it to cover better. See what happens here. I'll take the lid off and dip out of the lid, I think, so I can just get a little bit. Put my little lines back now where I got uh, paint on them.
Well, I think he looks better now. <laughs> very cute, very cute. Put a little bit right here too. All right. Now he looks good. <laughs> Sweet little bird. Okay, so I'm going to attach it with the um, collage page. And before I do that, though, I think I might add a little touches of yellow here and there. Not a lot, but just a little bit on the canvas to, uh, to tie it all together. So let's see. Maybe a stencil. I didn't use any of my stencil I took out. I kind of changed my change gears a little bit. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe some little triangles would be cute. I have to find that stencil. Here we go. this one and this is a um, dilution stencil okay and it's called uh, triangles small okay so I'm just going to use that and um, this darker yellow I think and put some um, But some triangles, but just, but just a few. Honestly, not very many. So what did I do with my sponges? Here we go. Let's see. Let's put a couple down here. Oh, you know what? I need to add a little bit of uh, white to this paint because it's not going to show up very well. Yellow is such a translucent color that it helps to add a little bit of um, add a little white to it so that it makes it a little bit more opaque. Okay, now let me try that. Let's try that again. See if we can get this yellow to show up here. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Still not as bright as I'd like, but it's okay. And seeing as how we're just going to add a little here and there, I think it'll be just fine. And I can always go over it with my uh, Posca pen if I need to, to brighten it up some, because they are opaque. Cute. <laughs> Very cute. All right, I'm going to move you over, little birdie. I'm going to put a couple up here. very sweet. I like that a lot. All right, so now let's just put a couple of yellow marks here and there on the um, edges. And I do think I'm going to darken it up just a little bit with the Posca pen because it's very similar to the green color. So 
so I'm going to take the Posca pen and see if I can um, just color them in a little bit. See, and it, it, it really does make it um, more opaque and a brighter yellow. You see the difference? I colored in those two. So I'm going to just um, go over these real quick. Honestly, you don't even really need a stencil for this. You could just simply color some color in some triangles on your page. Just adds a little more texture and a little more interest. I did cut a little tiny bit more of the yellow paper <clears throat> from between the uh, legs of the little bird there. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is take the uh, white Posca pen and I'm just gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just gonna add some um, highlights and well, there's a texture underneath that M and I just sprayed that Pasta pen all over because it hit those bumps. Let me wipe that away and try that again. Okay. Whenever you're using a, a paint pen like this, if the nib hits any rough texture on your whatever you're working on, whether it's a canvas or an art journal page or whatever, the 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 tip will cause the when it hits the bumps, it will cause it to spray the paint out. So you have to be very very careful when you're working on a textured uh, surface. So I'm gonna do that again, very lightly and gently. There we go. So I'm just gonna add little marks. <clears throat> and um, just to make it highlighted and brighter. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to do it just like that. All right. So we're going to call this one done. I, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed, uh, this canvas and this uh, main dish morsel and I can't wait to see what you guys do. 
Take care, everybody, and we'll see you again soon for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.